Hello, my babies. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I am actually headed to bed. Look at my cute PJs. These are my strawberry PJs. <laughs> anyway, I've got my PJs on and I'm getting ready to go to bed, but um, I received an email earlier today that I really wanted to touch on real quickly. Um, and that email um, was an email asking me, what can I do to connect to my highest timeline faster? What can I do to manifest my higher timeline faster, quicker, easier? And um, I've got the answer to that, all right? Make all of your decisions from a place of love. Make all your decisions from a place of self-love. Now, many of you may be thinking, oh, I'm already doing that, Angie, but are you really? All right, before you make any decision, ask yourself, what is it that, like, for example, I'll tell you what I ask myself before I make any decision at all. I always ask myself, what is it that Angie who loves herself would do, right? Even things as simple as the color of socks that I'm going to wear. You know, many times I have found myself, you know, in the morning I'm getting dressed, I quickly throw on a pair of white socks, and then it's like, well, what kind of, what, what color of socks would Angie who loves herself wear? And that answer will be pink, right? So I'll take off the white socks and I'll put on the pink. Um, when it comes to outfits, what is it that Angie who loves herself would wear today? And then whatever that is, I wear it. What is it that Angie who loves herself would eat? right? And then whatever that is, I'll eat it. Now, it's interesting because you would think that the answer to that question would be something healthy and, you know, like a salad or whatever. But sometimes Angie, who loves herself, wants uh, chicken nachos, right? Or Mexican food or uh, horchata or soda. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what I'm trying to say here is that there's no right answer, to 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 this there's only the answer that's right for you right the answer that's right for you is not going to be right for somebody else but go into life and before making any decision ask yourself that question and then um do whatever it is that the answer is right um and ask yourself that question for everything even the small things like i said your socks your jewelry what it is you're going to wear what it is you're going to wear that day, right? Um, a lot of people have noticed that I now wear my glasses more than I wear my contacts. Um, if you remember, for like the first four years of my channel, I wore contacts every day. I did not wear my glasses. It was very rare when I wore my glasses. But there was a moment for me a couple months ago where I was just like, well, what is it that Angie who loves herself wants to do, right? And and the answer was, I, I, I feel more myself when I wear my glasses. And so that's what I started doing. I stopped wearing the contacts and I started wearing my glasses um, because Angie who loves herself likes that look much better. The reason why I didn't wear my glasses is because I felt like it was unattractive, you know, unsexy, not a good look. But who cares about that? You know, Angie who loves herself, Angie who loved herself wanted the glasses, not, not the contacts, right? So when you start making every single one of your decisions from that place of loving yourself, and I'm meaning every decision. Do not make any decision uh, without asking yourself what decision you would make if you were in a place of loving yourself. And then following whatever answer that is, no matter how hard it is for you. Like, you know, there are going to be some things in life that you find hard to not do or to do, right? So if you say, you know, I really hate my job, what is it that, you know, Nick who loves himself would do if if Nick hates his job? Well, you know, the answer is I'd quit, I'd find something else. You know, that may be very hard for you to do, but do it. <laughs> 
You know, if you hate your job that much and your job is that horrible, that if you were in a place of loving yourself, you would not work there, then, you know, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to find something different, right? So um, I've even found that in places of indecision, this is my go-to in order to get out of that indecision. So, you know, I'm notorious for being so indecisive. In fact, I, a lot of times, well, not anymore, but in the past, a lot of times I would prefer when people would make my decisions for me. I hated making decisions that bad. So there are many times when it's like, you know, um, well, I'll, this morning, for example, I wanted to go out to breakfast, but there was a piece of me that was like, oh, well, I really don't want to drive there. I don't want to take the time. I want to go make money. I want to go work. I want to go work on my stuff. I was making any excuse I could to not go out to breakfast. And so, um, but I was going back and forth because I really wanted to go out to breakfast. That's like something I've really found that I like to do in the morning now. Like I love to go out to breakfast. Um, and um, it's something I do almost every morning. Like I drop the kids off, I go out to breakfast, right? And today I was just like, oh, I want to go out to breakfast. But I was making all these excuses and I was in this place of being super indecisive. So I, I stopped and I said, well, what is it that Angie who loves herself would do? What is it that Angie who loves herself wants? Does Angie who loves herself want to go out to breakfast or does she want to go get to work? And the answer was, I wanted to go out to breakfast. So bam, there you go. Um, indecisive moment fixed, cured, dealt with, right? I went out to breakfast. So if you are looking to connect to your highest timeline um, faster and quicker, start making decisions from a place of self-love, even the smallest ones, right? Um, and even the hard ones, like what is it that Angie who loves herself would do in this romantic relationship? Right. And then and then being strong and bold and courageous enough to make those hard decisions, those tough decisions for you. Right. Um, but ask it as ask yourself that question, not just in the big things like relationship and work and what it is you want to do with your life. But ask yourself that with the color of socks you want to wear in the morning and the shoes you want to invest in. Right. And the outfit you want to wear. All right. Do that. Do this one simple thing, literally this one simple thing, and you will literally before your eyes watch your entire life start to flourish. You will live a happier life. You will live a more grateful life. You will notice that you're vibrating higher. You will notice that you're happier. You'll notice that things are starting to go your way. You'll notice that opportunities are starting to come your way. You'll notice that you start um, experiencing growth in different aspects of your life. You'll start noticing more confidence within your step. You'll start noticing... Um, more things starting to manifest into your life. And I promise you, you will not regret it. If you, I challenge you, I challenge you to do this. I challenge. <laughs>